couple of motor cops came together and realized that this course was not available to civilians whatsoever. So we thought we'd start a school and expose the public to the same motorcycle training that the police officers have to pass in order to become a motorcycle cop. The 40 hours that they're going to get in this program is the same 40 hours for the motor officers that are trained throughout the state of Washington. They're going to get low speed handling skills, vehicle placement skills, maximum front braking skills, counter steering skills to reach a little of the onset of higher speed handling. This course is probably the best course for street survival for a motorcycle rider. Our goal is to have the rider in full control of the motorcycle at all times. If people want to come to the class, they have two options. They can either ride their personal motorcycle or they can use one of the course bikes. The benefit to using the course bike is if the bike goes down on the pavement and everybody in the class puts a bike down on the pavement at slow speed because you're not damaging your own equipment. We start off with slow control of the motorcycle. A lot of riders have a lot of problem with that, so we emphasize that at the very beginning. It really boils down to clutch control. Using the throttle, just you just give it a low throttle have some quote-unquote money in the bank in case you need the RPMs, it's available. You cover your brake with your right foot. The whole speed is controlled with the clutch. Slow speed is clutch control. The concept behind head and eye is that you're not fixated on a point that is immediately in front of you, but to a point that you want to ride to. As you turn your head, your shoulders are going to follow your body. If I look this way, my shoulders will follow. As my shoulders follow, my body goes along with that. In turn, the motorcycle is then going to follow the direction that my body's going. Let's say you're driving down the roadway and someone turns left in front of you. If I fixate on the bumper of that car, I'm going to hit the bumper of that car. I'm not fixating on my exit or where I want to ride to. So if I turn my head and I look to the left, my body is coming to the left and the motorcycle and I are going to miss the obstacle that's out in front of us. To go fast is really easy, but to stop from going so fast is quite complicated. It involves a lot of small muscle movements, a lot of attention. You're truly multitasking. And unless you get it down right and repeat it over and over again when the emergency occurs, most riders will go back to a car response. versus a motorcycle response, which is probably exactly the opposite. But if you do a proper response with a motorcycle, you can shut down your motorcycle and stop faster than a car. Students will tell us that many of the classes are the most fun they have and the best learning exercise they have is when we get out and play fall of the leader. You've got a lead instructor who's going to be riding in the front and everybody is going to be in a line behind them. And we're going to look at various obstacles, various things on the course to ride around. Build that understanding of turning, head eye placement, the clutch throttle, working in your gray area, all of those concepts. You focus on the motorcycle in front of you. Then you'll follow right along behind and you'll find that you're turning tighter, you're braking sharper than you do when you do it individually in an exercise because you're not thinking about all of those little things I have to do. You're just reacting and riding the motorcycle. And as the course progresses, we get you into tighter and tighter situations, making tighter turns than you even do in the cone patterns on the course. In other programs that we've looked at is you may come in and you're going to have 10 hours worth of training today and we're going to go through various exercises. So we'll show you how to do the exercise, we'll talk you through it, and then you'll do it twice and then we move on to something else. In this class we're going to immerse you in those basic skills that you need to be able to ride a motorcycle and survive on the street. By the end of the day you're going to be very tired and you're going to be doing a lot of work, but we get that repetition to it which allows you to build that muscle memory where you don't have to think about what the motorcycle is doing, you can just react with the motorcycle. I'd say hundreds upon hundreds of people have come to the course. From Kuwait, from England, from the East Coast, South America, Australia, and they tell us that the basic skills that we teach them for riding on the road are the best that they've seen around the world. They all say the same thing, this is by far the best street survival motorcycle training available. When you take uh, the other courses on your own motorcycle, they're pushing you to a point where you feel comfortable. When you come here, this class pushes the limits. You sharpen up your skills, you learn things that you need to know, and it's just a, a good experience and a confidence builder. I don't know how else to say it. I have compared it to other schools. There's just nothing like this.